Hello friends, in this problem you have been given a radical equation and then you have to find the value of x that satisfy this equation. So, equation is you have a square root and then x plus root 3 plus again a square root x minus root 3 and this is equals to a square root 3 plus root 3. How will you solve this problem? You see you have too many square roots. So, the first step should be a squaring. So, let us square both side. So, you have x plus root 3 and this plus x minus root 3 and this side you have 3 plus root 3. So, let us square both side and you remember a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, if you square this, so this will be simply x plus root 3. So, this is a square and a square of this will be simply x minus root 3 that is b square and then you will have 2 times a times b and this side you will have 3 plus root 3. So, now you see this term root 3 and this root 3 will cancel out. So, now what we have? We have 2 x and this is plus 2 times this is a square root x plus root 3 and this is a square root x minus root 3 and this is equals to 3 plus root 3. We can further simplify this term. So, this becomes 2 x plus 2 times and if you remember if we have root a times root b by the rules of exponent this can be written as a square root a times b. So, if I use this rule I can write this is nothing but 2 times a square root x plus root 3 and this will be x minus root 3 this is equals to 3 plus root 3. Now, what is this term? This is a plus b and this is a minus b. So, a plus b into a minus b is what? And if you remember this formula, this is equals to a square minus b square. So, let us use that. So, we will have 2 x plus 2 and this will be a square minus b square. So, this becomes x square minus root 3 square that is simply 3 and this is equals to 3 plus root 3. Now, we still have roots. So, here I have a root and here also I have a root. So, I have to remove these roots then only I can find value of x. So, what I will do is I will take all the roots to one side. So, this becomes 2 x square minus 3 and take this to the left hand side. So, this is minus root 3 and this is 3 and take this to the right hand side. So, you will have 3 minus 2 x. Now, let us square once again. So, now this is nothing but a minus b whole square. So, this is a and this is b. So, this is a square plus b square minus 2 a b. So, a square will be 4 times x square minus 3 and b square will be simply 3 and this minus 2 a b. So, 2 times 2 4 and this is a square root x square minus 3 times root 3 and this side will have 9 plus 4 x square minus 12 x. So, you can further simplify this is basically 4 x square minus 12 plus 3 minus 4 times a square root and this is x square minus 3 and I can take both these inside the root. So, this is x square minus 3 times 3 and this side will have 9 plus 4 x square minus 12 x. Now, this 4 x square and this 4 x square can be cancelled. So, what is left? So, you will have 
this side. So, this is minus 12 plus 3 minus 9 and let us take minus 9 to that side. So, this becomes plus 9 and plus 9 plus 9 is 18. So, this is 18 minus 12 x and this side will have 4 a square root x square minus 3 times 3. So, we still have one root. So, what we can do is once again I can square, but before that I can cancel two both side. So, this becomes 2 a square root 3 times x square minus 3 and I am dividing both side by 2. So, this will be 9 minus 6 x. Now, let us square both side once again so that I can eliminate the root sign. So, this will be 4 times 3 times x square minus 3 and this is equals to 9 square is 81 and this is 36 x square and minus 108 x. So, on further simplification I can write this is 12 x square minus 36 is equals to 81 plus 36 x square minus 108 x. Now, let us take everything to the one side. So, let us take these things to the right hand side. So, this becomes 36 minus 12. So, this is basically, so I can say 0 is equals to 24 x square and this will also go this side. So, this is 6 plus 1 7 and 8 plus 3 11 and minus 108 x. So, you can now see a quadratic equation. So, this equation is 24 x square minus 108 x plus 117 is equals to 0. Now, I can solve this quadratic equation. So, if you remember if you have something like x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0, root of this equation is given by minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a. So, this is the value of x. So, if I use this formula I can write x is equals to minus b that is 108 plus minus b square is nothing but 108 whole square minus 4 times a times c and this divided by 2 into 24. Now, I can cancel 4 in this case. So, let us see this can be written as 108 plus minus 108 can be written as 4 times 27 and this is minus 4 and 24 I can write 4 times 6 and this is 117 this divided by I can here write 2 into 2 into 12 and now I can cancel 4. So, if you cancel 4, so x is equals to 108 divided by 4 that is 27 plus minus this 4 and a square. So, this 4 cancels out because I am dividing numerator as well as denominator by 4 and here this 4 and this 4 will be cancelled out. So, this will be simply a square root 27 whole square minus 6 into 117 and this divided by 12. I can also cancel 3 because now you have here 12 I can write 3 into 4, 27 I can write 3 into 9 and plus minus 27 is nothing but 3 into 9 whole square and minus 6 and this is 6 you can write 2 into 3 and 117 you can write 39 into 3. So, now you can cancel 3. So, this 3, this 3 and this 3, this 3, this 3 will be cancelled out. So, what is left? So, you have left with 9 plus minus a square root 
9 square minus 2 times 39 and this divided by 12. No, not 12 because we have already cancelled 3. So, this divided by 4. So, this is 9 plus minus 81 minus 78 divided by 4. So, this is nothing but now I can say x is equals to 9 plus minus a square root 3 and this divided by 4. So, these are the two values that is possible for this equation. So, I hope this video was useful for you and if you find these videos useful, please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.